guys what's up so uh, in today's video we'll be discussing about a new single rail coaster coming to Silverwood in 2021 uh, this is stunt pilot but I do want to um, announce something um, I just want to let you guys know that uh, if you're wondering what happened to my intro uh, my apology uh, the um, files on the intro was uh, deleted uh, because my my personal computer is broken so now I'm using my uh, laptop and all my files aren't for my PC aren't um, aren't here so um, I had you know I'm having a hard time trying to uh, cop do a copy of it so unfortunately um, you won't be seeing my intro after all so just just a little apology there so yeah um, Without further ado, so this is a uh, sing uh, raptor coaster. If you're not familiar with an arms, your raptor is. This is basically it, uh, like um, the other ones, like Real Blazer and um, Wonder Woman Golden Lasso, and the one being built in uh, Red Adventure with a uh, Jersey Devil coaster. That would be an arms, your raptor. And um, so far, there's a plan that Magic Mountain's supposed to be building a arms, your raptor as well, but according to COVID it's a bit delayed so uh, they're still having it approved right now so I think it's been approved now but I think uh, the city hall is still waiting for the virus to be over so that they can start construction as soon as possible but we're getting out of topic so this is a um, arms raptor called stunt pilot this is um, a single rail coaster and uh, it is uh, opening summer 2021 is they've announced but that could change because of the covid going on so it could be delayed to 2022 so don't expect too much so they're just announcing this because they want to prepare for the upcoming years but that doesn't mean that it's gonna be opening on time sometimes uh we don't know like Jersey Devil Coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure. We were expecting that's going to open this year. But according to things, uh, they had to delay it to open 2021 instead of this year. So uh, I wouldn't really expect too much about the opening because uh, we're not sure if this is going to open summer of 2021 according to the uh, virus uh, happening. So we'll talk about the coaster in general. So. It seems that this coaster is around 113 feet tall with a 100 foot tall drop and uh, it goes upside down three times just like the clone of Real Blazer and Wonder Woman Golden Lasso. Uh, speed is about 52 miles per hour and a one, um, track length of 1,800 feet of track uh, which is pretty much the same as those two coasters at Great America and Fiesta Texas so uh, it's really nothing special for us but for the GP they wouldn't really notice the difference uh, but because um, sometimes RMC Raptors are cloned I still don't know if uh, they're still going to be as good but uh, I did heard that cloning coasters is really nothing unique. But although this is a clone, it's still a new coaster for Silverwood. Uh, it would probably get the attendance uh, higher um, for the park. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so their last coaster that they've got was a spinning coaster in uh, 2014 with Crazy Coaster. That is a family spinning coaster though, but if you're gonna be talking about an extreme roller coaster, the last one was Aftershock, the Vekoma Joint Inverted Boomerang, which opened in uh, tw uh, 2008. So it's been quite a long time that they got a real roller coaster. So it's great that Silverwood is finally getting a thrilling coaster um, instead of a family because, you know, uh, as enthusiasts, we're expecting something big and exciting for, for us to ride and enjoy. So uh, this seems to be a unique coaster for the park. Uh, I don't think it will be the best coaster though, 
although it's cloned, but it should be fun to ride. Uh, I mean, as long as the line is not long, we can do a walk-on. But um, just letting you guys know that uh, Silverwood is not my home park. Six Flags Magic Mountain is my home park, and they're already planning to build their 20th coaster, which is an, uh, also an RMC Raptor. So I should be excited to ride that one at Magic Mountain, not this one. So, um, yeah, we shouldn't really expect too much about the opening, but um, someday um, you guys will go ahead and ride it if this is your home park. I mean, if you live in the area, the closest Raptor you will get is the one at California's Great America, which opened in 2018. Uh, real blazer, so uh, I don't think uh, Silverwood and California Square in America will be competing this time uh, but you know um, it's all about um, thrills and excitement so whatever um, they get should be something good but you know uh, I enjoy riding coasters the way I like them so um, yeah so uh Color scheme uh, kind of looks familiar with the Wonder Woman Golden Lasso. I mean, the supports are the same color, the uh, red. Uh, so if if they change time, uh, stunt pilot's color scheme to yellow, then of course it's going to look obnoxious. And uh, of course, we wouldn't really like it. So good thing they chose white instead of yellow, because that would really look redundant if they add yellow and then there's another one just down south, then, you know, I mean, in Texas, obviously, but it's still like a mile away, so, you know, but, you know, the GP wouldn't really notice, so, um, my only complaint about this coaster, though, is the capacity, because they only want run uh, one person per car, so each row will be only one person on there so if we're only gonna run maybe the same train uh, cars as Red Blazer and Wonder Woman then there's gonna be a complaint with the capacity issue and the operation and uh, dispatch time so if they can uh, run 12 cars on this coaster with three trains then the um, attendance will be higher of course and the Operation will be a lot faster and uh, the uh, dispatches will be quicker. Or, uh, if, however, I can say that. So, uh, we'll have to wait and see. I do hope that this is going to run 12 cars so that they can fix the issue of the capacity. And um, yeah. So, uh, but I did heard a rumor that this coaster will be going to uh, a land close to where a corkscrew is. So uh, yeah, uh, that really changed Silverwood's uh, skyline, obviously. So uh, it's nice that they're getting this coaster. So I don't know, what are you guys' thoughts about this coaster? Um, do you want to ride it next year or 2022? Uh, uh, would this be the best coaster? Would uh, would you be excited to ride this? So show your comments. I would be glad to read them. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe. And if you want more notifications, please press the bell button on the right hand corner. And uh, yeah, peace out.